Hello and welcome back to Old School Modeler. My name is Nick. So today is a final on the under 1000 group build. I built the 69 Ford Torino Cobra Fastback by AMT and 123 scale. And it's hosted by Rob at Time Machine Scale Models and Mike at uh, model speed shop. We'll give you a little once around or have some things to say about it. One thing I don't like about this kit is the chassis. The chassis just doesn't want to fit properly, I guess. It, the rear end sits forward a little too far. You get the, the front wheels centered and then the rear does not really center. Um, the front of the chassis doesn't want to fit down. Uh, the intake is touching the uh, firewall. If you uh, swish it down, the the intake hits the firewall and it wants to rock the motor forward off of the transmission mount. So I glue the engine in, and the front end kind of sits. Eh. The body was fine. The glass went in great. The interior pushed up like it should. There was like little little tabs on the back of the chassis back here. I had to cut those off. But other than that, the chassis went up. It's right where it's supposed to be. The engine sits where it's supposed to be. The engine built up great. The interior built up great. It's just the chassis that then round two needs to update the chassis. It's you know you had the molding molded in rear end with the shocks. It's just you can't adjust ride height. You can't do anything with it. And now what you could do, which I might do if I get another one of those kits. Is to back half it and pro street it, or make it a drag, a big tire drag car, because there is plenty of room up here in the package shelf. I used the stock dash, the stock steering wheel, stock seats. I put the. Uh, what they call a half cage or a four point cage is, is the NASCAR. They had the full cage that had the hoop come down. I was gonna leave the leave that in there, but the on the driver side, the front down bar was hitting the stock dash, and there it came down like that. But it was hitting the stock dash, and I had to shave it and. I tried making door bars and it was hitting the seat in two places so I just cut that out I tried making new door bars you know still hitting the seat so it doesn't have any door bars it just has the four point you can see it through the back window you got all the sponsor decals I'll show you here in a little bit Put the slicks on it. The rear rear wheels are out of the Grumpy's Toy Vega kit. Everything else is box stock, except for the plug wires. The tires kind of came in the kit. The only thing I added was the plug wires and these rear wheels. Get a 
closer look here. Here is the 428 Turbojet. Like I said, I added plug wires. That's about it. Put these decals on. I did not realize that the that these decals went around the door lock. I was I wanted to put these stripes on there and I started with this one and then moved along and by the time I got to this door here I did not realize it went around because I just followed the body line and where this stripe goes it goes right where that emblem is so I had to put this decal below it little gills right there a Maltol chrome pen the all the trim is bare metal foil a little shot of the interior I just went with a sharpie there was no dash decals I don't know why round two keeps doing that not making dash decals so there's not much detail in the interior There's the sponsor decals. All those come in the kit. I blacked out the rear. Like I said, this trim piece is uh, the GT trim. The Trino GT. Taillights I had to modify a little bit. Had to shave a couple sides of them down so they fit in there a little better. Went with the Michigan license plate. Again, decal. Blacked out the grill. Not much to see underneath. Like I said, that's all that's all molded in and I'm not a fan of it. I didn't bother detailing it. These headers, they hang way too low. I I didn't want to mess with them and cut them up. I did shorten them. They were like out to here. And I shortened them. They hang way too low, so the exhaust hangs too low. I put the bigger sump on the oil pan. So yeah, that's uh, Mellow Yellow, I've named this car. As you can see, there's no hood on it. Well, I did it again, and I messed up the paint again. Now, the body came out pretty good. The hood came out good. You saw the hood. It was all yellow. What I did is I taped it off and wet sanded the part that I said I was going to paint it black. So... I taped it off, wet sanded it with the area where the black is, where the black was going to be, and I rushed it. I was on a time limit, and I rushed, and yeah, messed it up, so... When I put the black on, I put it on too thick. And, you know, I just rushed it. It was my fault. It's not the paint's fault. I 
it started like bubbling right here and yeah so i just threw it in the dunk tank it it's been in there for days and it still hasn't gotten all the paint off so it's the car's not gonna have a hood that's just the way it is it's uh what bob ross would say it's a happy accident so yeah that's my final i hope you guys enjoyed it was just kind of a quick build Go ahead and give me a, a like, comment, subscribe, share if you want to share. Um, do do what you want. Build the model your way. Have a great night.